So let's go get some hash dumps to use in the further hands-on experiment. Go to Kali, hack a Windows system, and dump its hash file. I'll keep it fast because we've seen these steps several times. Open a terminal screen, start MSF console. I'll use psexec to open a meterpreter session on the victim, search for the exploit module. Now I'll set an appropriate payload, show the options, set our host as my Windows XP VM 207, and L host as my Kali 222. Remember, the user is the administrator, and the password is 1234QQQ, uppercase Q. Uh, but please don't mind this. It's just an intermediate step that we need to retrieve the hash file. Now we're ready to run the exploit. Interpreter session is open. Use hash dump command to get the hashes. And here they are. So let's copy them all and paste them into a text file, which will be our hash file. I'll use the nano editor for this purpose. I'll open a new text file named hashxp.txt. Right click and paste. Control X to exit, Y to save changes, and hit enter to save the file that we named at the beginning. Now look at the upper left corner. Now we have a hash file on the desktop. So now I want to get the hash file of my Windows 8 VM as well. I send the current interpreter session to the background. I'll use psexec once more for Windows 8 VM this time. Our host is 223. Username is Amiden. Suppose that we collect this data in the exploitation phase and run the exploit. Now I have a interpreter session on Windows 8 VM. So run hash dump to collect the hashes. Huh, it failed. Will it stop us? I don't think so. Remember, we have another hash dump method. Run post, windows, gather, hash dump, and hit enter. This method runs in a different way from the previous hash dump method. And here's the hash dump for Windows 8 VM. Again, open a text editor and create a new text file to keep these hashes. So let's just, mm, for fun, have one more hash dump, this time from a Linux system. I send the second interpreter session to the background. Now, I remember that my Metasploitable Linux VM has Java RMI server insecure default config vulnerability. So that's what I search for, Java RMI keywords. And let's pick this one. Show payloads to select an appropriate one. I'll set Java, Interpreter, Reverse, TCP. Show options and set the option. Our host is Metasploitable, Linux 206. L host is Kali 222. Leave the ports with the default values and run the exploit. Ah, more than one session open. So I use sessions I to interact with one of them. For example, session three. And I have a session on Metasploitable Linux VM. Meterpreter has no hash dump function for Linux systems by default. So I'll use a post module. Type run post Linux hash dump and hit enter. And once again, we have the dump of the password hashes of the victim. So let's create a third hash file for Metasploitable 2 VM. Same method, copy the hashes, open a text editor, paste them, and save the file. So, at the end, we have three hash files for three of our victims.